Now, you've got, um, you're quite knowledgeable about Terry, of course. You know, you've seen a decent amount of uh, Terry gameplay. But also, uh, yeah. I think everyone and their mother knows about Joker. So what do you think about this matchup? It's a battle of comeback mechanics, of course. Yeah, How really. How do you think awesome. this is going to go? It's, it's obviously like, we're going to be seeing Katrina over here using that Terry. He's going to be obviously trying to get in very close. As he is an FGC character, he can literally turn anything into a nice 30, 40% combo. You know, down to, down to into a power dunk or maybe even a rise and tackle. Just depends how Arsenal uses his utility here. And oh my god, he's managed to get a grab and started a very, very nice little combo there. He's followed by the F2 and an Arsene too. I don't know what's happening, but Katrina wasn't getting hit with the first hit of that face, uh, face uh, Joker F2 there, but then follows up with the Arsene F2. Ooh. And he's just getting hit left, right, center, and the back air coming out from Artsniff is just gonna wipe Katrina stock clean in the first minute of the game. Ludicrous, Ludicrous getting a little bit. He's using every droplet of that Arsene just to get the damage ticking. That's a free 35. Suddenly the downward guns. Hey, don't you forget, all right? We talk about Rob Downtill, all right? We talk about Blair Nair. Do not forget about Joker down with guns, all right? As you spent into the sky. Honestly, Petrino clutching this up and equalizing it pretty handily. It really isn't a joke at all. And like I said, yeah, like you said, Petrino taking the stock as well. So these characters, it's going to be a very neck and neck situation and definitely not a sleeper set. These characters are well, characters that want to get in. They want to scrap. But and Petrino is scrapping right now, seeing that Ooh, double. What a trade. Insane stuff, fantastic strike. That was a triple down air coming out from Petrino. Gets one spike and goes for the second as well. This guy's being serious and now he's got the gold meter online, not roast. What a perfect position to be in. 96 at a base Joker. He can't kill you like that. He's forcing you over the edge to go. And now, baby, it's a battle of the comeback mechanics, all right? A tried and tested oh, it really matchup. Is, man. And there we go, 153, 155. Honestly, that chip damage on the Aegon is not something to laugh about. 173 as well, but if you know what, Petrino manages to find some sort of opening, it's going to be death. Buster Wolf to rip the Arsene from Art Sniff's clutches. My goodness, started off so strong, but now it's looking pretty dangerous for Art Sniff. Let's see if they can carry it on, or if Petrino is going to run away with it. Crossing him up right there, making it back to the stage. Just a little bit of a nair battle right now. Tries to go for a grab, instead it's a clash. And now Petrino is starting to gain ground, starting to get back. That Arsene is nowhere near to be seen. Mr. Rekka. Oh, no, it's gonna be it. It's brutal. It's looking very brutal in the 98% of the round. But he's managed to get Petrino on off stage onto that left side platform. Petrino takes the middle of the stage again. Gets in there with a the neutral air. Into Ooh. the burn knuckle and the DI from Artsniff. Beautiful, beautiful DI. But now it's looking okay. doable. All right, that Arsene is almost here. Just a couple of little love taps, of course. Oh, very raw rising what? tackle. Beautiful drag down. What an amazing maneuver. This could be Kunz for Petrino. Might have just sealed their own fate. Forced off from the platform change. There's a downward guns. Arsene is here. Buddy, this okay. could be it. Two comeback mechanics. And what? that's going to do it. What a clutch from Art Sniff. And you saw the Jesus pop off. Jesus Christ, what a back and forth game we had there and what a beautiful way to start off our commentary block the end of wave a that was beautiful look at that you can hear that i'm pretty sure you can hear that though, i'm right? pretty sure you can hear it. you can see him in the background you can sit look at the surprise on on that man's face look at that my goodness can't believe and, it and i don't blame him that was yeah. insane like Honestly. the reversal we saw i want to highlight that drag down man you know, the guy, because um, so Artsniff up there, you know, he's getting hit with the downs because he's obviously at a high percent. The ledge in both, the more times you grab it, the less time you have on it. Mm. He managed to get back in. He gets a single hit, the drag down, and reverses the situation with a grab. Now, perfect, perfect. And the now, Arsene came in perfect timing as well. Now I'm curious, all right? We've seen Petrino do a lot of work in that game. He has some very stylish kills, right. all right? And uh, frankly, I think you and I both know that Bad things can happen after a game one pop off. Oh, bad, bad, bad things, things indeed. Still, just like last game, Art Sniff starting off very, very strong. Could see a repeat of what we've seen before. Petrino definitely got to find a way back in. Still, the damage is fairly even considering the uh, advantage in neutral. Yeah, and I like how Art Sniff is getting a lot of these F tilts, catching them. Catching Petrino off guard quite a bit. Gets the neutral out on the get up into the Aegon. Can he hit with the back air? But no, it's going to get snuffed out by a power dunk. And another power dunk. Is that going to kill? No, no, not just yet. But it's looking very close to. And the Arsene meter is literally finished. And we're back to base Joker. Let's find out. And what I love about this matchup 
This matchup is entirely peaks and troughs, all right? Really? Both really of these is. players are just mirroring each other, and it's all about when you push that advantage, right? Terry, he's going to have that oh. comeback mechanic very, very late. Meanwhile, Joker have access to it early. You're both going to be powerful at different points. How do you use that momentum? That's the question, Wrecker, as Petrino is using it pretty well. Yeah, I was running right. He didn't go for it earlier, but he doesn't even need to. Goes for, the, goes for the Buster Wolf into the Burn Knuckle. Back to back, and now we're seeing another one. And this is really what makes Petrino, what makes Terry so scary at roast. It is true right now. That's a fantastic counter, but baby, that's the tip of the iceberg, all right? That Arsene's going to run out. Petrino happy to stand there for just a little bit while it drains. But you know what? What's the best way to drain uh, Arsene Wrecker? It's to just beat them into submission. Oh my god, perfect timing on that one, Norris, because that Arsene Mita is gonzo. 1-1-12 one, one, on his last stop. Arsene over here, it's not looking too good, because this guy has to fight not only one, but two go meters to get past it is get, tough. Get this game. It is very tough. A hair's breadth away. There's the rising tackle. Got to be it, it, and that will take it. Very convincing from Petrino. Very convincing indeed. And it, it, honestly, I was watching his face the entire time. He was not amused, bro. He was just like literally being being lots of senseless in that game without a single speck of emotion yeah. on his face. And it's just like what you said. Call it karma. Call it what you will. But. Uh, Game one pop off isn't, isn't it's something dangerous, to man. About. It's a dangerous es game to play, especially but this day in pools as well. I've still got a lot of faith in Arthur Smith. Obviously. All right, we have seen how str like Art Smith's uh, Art Smith's early game is really, really good. Like really those good. opening gambits are fantastic, and I'm sure we'll see it again. Really, right? honestly, yeah, he's my, he's really, really good at spacing all of his attacks. And I want to mention the fall for forward tilt again because he's managed to cut snuff out Petrino so well using the using the, for, for the forward tilt. The little disjoint he has using it absolutely to its peak. Mm. Very, very good stuff. I think if there's one thing, if there's one thing I want to see, frankly, it sounds very basic. I want to see more downward guns, to be honest. I want to see more of those maneuvers, right? Like, really? you're getting to the point where if you're baseline Joker or even if you're empowered Joker, right, you have to wait until you can really get a solid confirm on Terry. Yeah. So you have to accept that he's going to get to 100% one way or another. And so you might as well use the movement it gives you just to have stage control, to stop yourself getting confirmed into a buster wall or force him into a dodgy rising tackle, you know, something like really? that. Yeah, honestly, because obviously, like, uh, Arsene, if you just use down on the gun, like, at a safe, safe location, that rising tackle is just going to get stopped. So it's obviously a very, very good tool because if you don't want to, you know, clash with rising tackle, it usually ends up, you know, being a very bad situation. And speaking of bad situations, so we can do there that. The guns we're looking for, absolutely forcing them off stage. That's, what That's you the see. art sniff we know and love. That early game is flawless. Very, very clean stuff indeed. Arsenal is still looking good with that Joker as well. Gets the grab forward air into the air gun, but it misses the air gun. Very, very close stuff. And you were saying that spacing, what fantastic work. Legit, there right we there. go again. So there we go. We've seen the rise tackle hit. Oh, Arsniff out of that Arsene, and that rise tackle is not going to take it. Heavy high schooler, bro. One too many Big Bang Burgers as he tries to make his way back in, see if he can roll in. Oh, actually goes for the neutral gap. Very, very close yes, there, Rekka. Yeah, very close indeed, and it's honestly a complete reverse situation from what we saw of that game two over here, where we're having Arsniff have such a massive lead, but that first stock is going to be gone to a rise and tackle, and Petrino is suddenly back in the game. That is true. I really like the movement that Artsniff is pulling out. You know, these sort of B-reverse guns flying off of mm. ledges. Really, really nice. Just can be interrupted so easily by the weight of Terry's moves. About to hit 100. Could get there soon. Not strong enough counter to get him off at the moment. To wait for Arsene. He's 50% of the way there. But let me tell you, Petrino's at 100%. Baby, I don't know much math, but I'd call that pretty solid. Drag down comes through. Can you take it? He's not on Petrino. He's still off stage Ooh. and the perfect catch using the down smash. Bro, screw that guns, bro. Down smash is, got, is doing all the work Artsniff needs. One more stock. You can hear the French crowd popping off oh. as trying to make our way back. Air dodge is a little oh, bit suspect. Oh no. Oh my god. Gets the grab forward. Air. Aegon misses again. I don't really like that Aegon after the forward air. Put out to the Arsene, but. Oh, you're still doing well! Oh, there, gets, gets sent off right Petrino. now. There's no Arsene. Dying here would not be the end of the world. But we're going to oh, see if no. he can organize a little bit of extra pressure as well. There's the tilt, not quite enough. There's the rising tackle. Might not kill! It's not getting, yeah, definitely not getting on that point. But that, that up will. will. That up definitely will. And 70% we're seeing another situation similar to that second stop there. Petrina can definitely do this. Gets a few hits with that go meter, and you don't know what will happen. Let's find out. Only 30%. Down with guns to cover it, but we've seen that not work before. Do you have to be very careful with it? 
just pressuring the shield, forcing him, gaining ground. Petrina was doing very well, got the goal, oh but no! Buster Wolf comes out here, it could be it. There's the ball smash, but it's not going up, this is going to be it! Be Plus the wall set off into the air. They're scrapping, we're scrapping really hard. And are off stage, this is a dire, dire situation. I told you, man, Gomi can just do whatever he wants. And, and a plus the wall is going to do it. Artsniff loses. That's and rough. Petrino with the composure. My goodness. And you know what? You live by the sword. You die by the sword. The comeback mechanic battle. It was intense, Rekha. That was very intense. Very intense. And I think you'll be able to use that microphone at rest. <laughs> See if we can nab Petrina, because you know what? That is.